Right, you guys, got another video here for you on the best tool for Windows PC. Now, if you're looking to tweak Windows PC, I did a video yesterday on Chris Titus Tech's uh, tool. This one is Sophia's uh, app. Now, we're going to take a look at this one. Uh, this has been updated recently, and I wanted to share this with you guys because it does work with Windows 10 and Windows 11, and it's a pretty powerful tool. Now, this tool's got some very useful features which you can use to set up Windows 10 or Windows 11, and uh, not just disabling telemetry, but it also has got some other useful features on here as well. Now, an important thing to mention here is if you've used other scripts in the past on your system, do not use any other script in conjunction with it because you can cause a lot of problems. If you're going to be using this script, it's always best to use this on a fresh install. So I'm going to copy the code here and this will download the app for us. So let's go ahead and open up PowerShell so we can download the app and take a look at it. So what I'm going to do here is going to type PowerShell here. I'm on a Windows 10 system, but this does also work on Windows 11 as well. And this will then open up PowerShell. But before I do this, let me just quickly give you a warning message here. Any action you take upon the information you find in this video is strictly done at your own risk. I will not be held responsible for any losses of data or damage that might be done to your operating system. So here we have our PowerShell open as administrator. I'm going to paste in the command here, and this will open up uh, the actual program for us. It's going to download it from the website, and then we can just run it because it will be a small little app. So I do like what they've done with this uh, particular script here. It really does look like they've done a lot of work on it and uh, this is the actual application here so what we're going to do is right click and run this as administrator and we'll say yes to the user account control here this will open up the application and you'll see this is the application here now this is just reading our current settings on our system and it will then load up the actual program itself so we can use what settings we want now a word of caution here on the privacy side of things uh, the telemetry service here it does give you some information about what these actually do, but you really need to understand what you're actually messing around with here because it's going to disable some features that you might need in the future. So be careful what you're actually disabling. So you can see here, it does give you a little speech bubbles here with some information about what you're actually enabling and disabling. So the application actually uses uh, check mark boxes and radio buttons here. We've got default and uh, minimal uh, settings here. We've got a uh, feedback frequency and some other things that we can check mark here. This video is not about what you should check mark because everyone's going to have their own preferences on their system, which they love to disable or enable. Some people might not want to touch any of this stuff at all, but there is some other useful uh, features on this application. So that's what we're going to go through the whole of this application here. So once you're happy with your selection, you'll be able to apply these settings and then it's going to ask you to restart your PC. So, Let's take a look what we've got here. There's a bunch of other ones on here. I'm not going to read through all of these, but you can see tailored experiences. And a bunch of these are just basically uh, telemetry and data collecting uh, services. So you can just turn these off if you wanted to, but just read through what you're doing on your settings. You might see the screen go black. This is pretty normal. It's just uh, making these changes. Once it's finished, it will tell you at the very bottom that you'll probably need to restart your PC. There you go please reboot your PC after applying these settings. Now, you don't need to reboot straight away. I can still go through the application before I restart. Let's go over to the personalization here. And there's some useful settings on here, which is show or hide the, this PC icon on the desktop. And you've got a bunch of other things on here as well, which is very useful, like show hidden files, folders, and drives, uh, show the file extension names, and things like that. This PC or quick access, so really useful settings, which you have to do on a regular basis when you install Windows. So if you're a technician and you're doing this all the time, then this can really make things a lot easier. So you could just put the radio button in what you like and check mark what you want on here. And once you're happy, just apply those. You can set up dark, dark mode or light mode here, and you can set your icon size and things like that here. So pretty useful stuff. So it's not all about disabling telemetry and things like that. It's about setting up Windows as well. So this is useful if you want to set up Windows. Again, I'm going to apply these settings, and this will uh, give us the black theme on the program. And again, you will get a black screen in the background until it's made those adjustments. Now we can go on to the uh, system settings here. And as you can see, run uh, Storage Sense, 
run every month. You can set everything up here, delete uh, temporary files that aren't used by apps, hibernate, and a bunch of other settings on here, which we can do. Display uh, stop uh, error code when blue screen happens. This is a very useful one that you have to go in and set. And this means that the blue screen will stay on the screen so you can actually read it rather than it uh, quickly flicking up on the screen and restarting. You can set your power settings here to high performance or balanced or whatever it is you want to set yours to. And you can even update all the, lot, all the latest .NET frameworks uh, from Microsoft's website as well from here, which is quite useful as well. Saves you having to go through this. Again, you can uninstall the OneDrive app if you want to and uh, get rid of it. We've got some other ones here, like the latest Microsoft Visual C++. Now, these settings are not going to be much use for people that have already had Windows installed for a number of months or even a year or so. But what this is useful for is fresh installs of Windows. When you're setting up PCs, you can download all of the required stuff that you need, and you can get all these installed and set it up exactly how you want it. And this is where this app comes in really useful. So if you're into that sort of stuff, then... This can save you a lot of time, especially if you're doing it on a lot of PCs. So I'm going to go ahead and download and install all of these and then apply these settings. And again, the settings will vary from person to person. You can see here, enable network discovery, files and printers. I can enable that feature there if I wanted to up the top. Super, super easy stuff, which makes it super easy to set up. So if you're one of these people that is setting up Windows machines all the time, this is a godsend. It really is. It really will make things a lot more easier for you. And they've done a lot of work on this and it does look pretty good. So let's get this all installed here. As I've said, I've not made many changes to the operating system. I'm just showing you application and some of the things that you can actually do with it. So take your time and watch the whole video and you'll be able to see what this actually can do, this tool. Okay, so that's now done and it's asking us to reboot the PC. We'll do that in a second. So let's go on to the UWP apps here so let's go on there so these are the apps that are normally forced upon you during the installation process where you don't ask for them they're just basically installed and this gives you the option to uninstall them now on windows 11 there's even more so this will allow you to go through and just check mark all of the ones you want to get rid of and just remove them from the system so this is going to be great when you're setting up a brand new system and you just want to get rid of all the bloat and get rid of all the programs that you're not using which will free up space as well. So you can see here OneNote and Paint 3D. A lot of people don't use these programs, and you can just uninstall them by just checkmarking them here and then click Apply, and it's going to go off and uninstall all of these from the PC. So let's go ahead and click Apply here, and this will go off and do it. Now, you can just remove for all users. Up the top, there's a little checkmark box if you want to remove it on every user account. If you've got more than one user account on that one machine, you can do that across the board here which makes things super easy. There's also a little search box here, which allows you to search directly to the location that you want to go to. Say, for instance, you type clean here, push enter. It will take you to the clean section where we'll be able to run the uh, storage sense and other things like that there. Windows cleanup tool is all here. So we can just run it from this location. Super easy uh, and super easy to search for as well. So taking a look at the next one, which is games. If you don't want the Xbox bar, you can remove all of that stuff here. So depending on what you want to actually remove, you can do so by doing the uh, check mark thing and applying it. Going on to the security here, there's a bunch of security features on here. I know a lot of people like to disable this. I personally, if I'm using uh, Windows Defender, I would enable quite a bit of these uh, features because they are still useful, like smart screen and things like that. If you want to run that on your system, if you don't, you can uninstall it and remove it. And you can just do, use this app to do it. It will do all that for you. Again, going down to the context menu here and also the settings, you can really see how powerful this tool can be. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be adding more stuff to this in the future. It has been work in progress. And again, this started off as just a normal standard script, but they've made a nice uh, user interface here to make it easier for people to use. Remember, always create a restore point, always back up your data. And if you're not familiar with anything, just leave it well alone. But I do like this application. It's probably one of the best ones I've seen so far that actually does quite a bit for you. And you can download stuff like the uh, HEVC here, a codec. You can download it by putting a check mark in and download it and installing it. So super easy 
uh, way of doing things. I do like the program, so I'll leave the link in the video description if you're interested. Now, like I said, just use a bit of common sense when you're using applications like this because they are quite powerful and always back up your data before you start and uh, create a restore point and always read what it says on the tin before you start applying things. Just don't go check marking everything and then running it. Understand what you're actually disabling and what you're uninstalling because you may need that uh, feature a little bit later on. So be careful what you're actually disabling. And again, at the end of the day, if you're a gamer or whether you're uh, just a person that's setting up Windows, this tool is going to be quite useful for you if you love uh, tweaking Windows operating systems. And I can say myself that this looks pretty useful and I can see some useful functionality in this uh, little application and I will certainly be giving it a try. Anyway, that is going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Just want to give a special shout out to uh, Casio Time, uh, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Euston, Geo Sam, Jedi Buddhist, Welsh Tony One, and Phil's Computer Repair. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Thank you.